so that's really kind of the tool that, that we've uh, taken and made available, and we've been really excited to partner with Cuyahoga Falls, and we're really excited that you're the first school district uh, in Summit County to, to partner with us on this. This really, uh, we think, empowers um, you know taxpayers to hold uh, their elected officials accountable, but it also really helps with better and more efficient decision making. And so we're excited about it. I, you know, I wanted to just uh, commend the school district for being the first in the county uh, to take this step. And you know, there's some more that are following your lead. We know because we're going to be over at Stowe in a couple hours. But uh, we, you know, we would, I guess, encourage uh, you know you guys to take take credit for I think doing. Uh, Great work on behalf of the taxpayers. We always leave the sign behind when we leave, and I say, you know, sometimes you can actually display it in a place where you have your board meetings, and those questions that you get that might have always be, you know, asking you questions about where you're spending money or what you're doing, you know, you can say, hey, it's all online. We've now got this OhioCheckbook.com site where you can go and you can download the entire fiscal year of data if you're interested, and um, you know, we're we're happy to kind of help. Uh, Walk anybody that's interested through how to do this. Yeah. All right. It's been a it's been a process, but we've managed to get through the, the hurdles and right. get the information out there. So. Great. Well, and the nice thing is that once you get through that first getting the data on the first time, it becomes exponentially easier. So that every every time that you have to upload a file, which is you know it, it kind of turns into a drag and drop, where you literally you know what the file looks like, you drag it and it populates into your uh, onto your website. So it's it's definitely if there is a lift at all, it's on the front end, and then it usually typically uh, you know is, is relatively easy to maintain. So at least that's our that's our hope and that's our goal. Okay, so for somebody to find it, what are the steps? You go to the OhioOpenCheckbook.com? It's just called OhioCheckbook.com. Ohio so Check there's two ways to get there. So you can either go to that website right there, OhioCheckbook.com, mm -hmm. or if you want to go directly here, um, and you know, I would cer we certainly encourage people if they want to use it directly, Cuyahoga Falls Schools dot OhioCheckbook.com. It, it's just, my concern was student information. Yes. And so once we bridge that gap, right, then that was easy. And we hear that at every level. And that is the one thing that I think when I, when I say it, it takes a little bit of time, mm -hmm. the one thing you always have to make sure is that there's no confidential personal information. There's nothing that's protected under any of the other federal or state laws that, that would ever be revealed. And so everything that's on the site is a matter of public record. And so we're really just, you know, we don't want anything to even be uploaded into the site that is not a matter of public record. So. I'd like to send out a thank you to Josh Mandel for his efforts to make government transparent as it's supposed to be and making the information available to the citizens 365, 24-7. <coughs> they can look at it at their own time and not on somebody else's time. And that is so convenient. I, I can't imagine that our site's not going to be looked at quite a bit. Quite a bit of well, we'll give you analytics tools to to check it out, so you guys will have uh, the ability to go in and see, you know, who's visiting, who's, who's doing what, who's uh, you know how long people are spending time on the mm -hmm. site and all that kind of yeah. stuff.